Amanda Shields and the executive director of Shakespeare Festival St. Louis, Rick Dildine, is in the house. Welcome back to STL TV Live. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Great. Now, we were just talking about Grove Fest. A lot of things are happening in the Grove, and this is actually happening in the Grove. Can you tell us about what's going on? Sure. It's a hot place. Mm -hmm. uh, Shakespeare in the Streets is a brand new program that Shakespeare Festival St. Louis started last year, mm -hmm. and our first neighborhood was Cherokee Street neighborhood, and now we're in the Grove where we've spent the past year creating an original play mm -hmm. about what it means to live, work, and play in the Grove and Forest Park Southeast. Wow, so it's, it, it's taking you a year. What In that year's time, what have you done? You've done your research. Yeah, we have done a lot of research. <laughs> we do a lot of interviews. Mm -hmm. We meet with kids, parents, uh, churches, schools, business owners to really find out what is hot in the Grove, mm -hmm. what are their hopes, their dreams, their passions for their neighborhood. And then we take all those interviews and all those stories and then we put it into an original play and we shut down a city street, in this case, Manchester, uh -huh. and we perform the play for free. So cool. Now, why do you think the Grove is so happening right now that everyone's really interested in the Grove right now? Yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of great excitement going on there. It's definitely a, a neighborhood that has exploded in the past few years mm -hmm. with restaurants, with places to go after work, after dinner. Mm -hmm. It's really become a destination for people. It's yeah. a hot neighborhood. I think because it's so, accessible and it's so inviting to all different types of people. That's so great. Now tell us a little bit more about this play now. Shakespeare in the Park happens during the summer and I go and it's awesome. Will it be similar to that or? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. There, There is not going to be any Shakespearean dialogue. Maybe a little bit but what we try to do is find out what is really the hopes and dreams of a neighborhood and then we take those stories and we pair it with a Shakespeare play that has similar ideas and then we modernize it. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we took Shakespeare's The Winter's Tale okay. and we've modernized it to be taking place on Manchester. Oh, cool. And what it's really talking about is the, the difference between living to the north of Manchester and the south of Manchester. How funny. Now you have local people um, that are mm -hmm. acting and everything. Talk to us about the actors and people participating in the play. Yeah, so one of the rules is, is that it has to include residents. Mm -hmm. So we take professional actors and we put them with residents in the show. So more than half of the cast are people that live in the Grove, that don't make their living as full-time right. actors. <laughs> so they're getting to start in the show you know the residents really are the experts when it comes yeah. to this now it took a year for all of this to transpire mm -hmm. how how long have um, the actors been um, rehearsing and all that they've been in rehearsal for about four weeks now mm -hmm. and I just recently saw a run through and it is one of the most exciting, most diverse, most energetic cast I've ever seen in St. Louis. Now talk to us about the location. It's on Ma in Manchester outdoors. What can mm -hmm. we expect? Yeah, you can totally expect bring your bring lawn chairs, bring your blankets. We're going to shut down the street at 6 o'clock each mm -hmm. night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, September 19th to the 21st. Mm -hmm. So bring your lawn chairs, bring your blankets, bring a picnic, or you can have uh, dinner at one of the restaurants. Mm -hmm. And the show starts at 8 o'clock, and it's totally free. It's totally free. Yep. That's some great entertainment. Um, the weekend that's totally free. You can take, pack a picnic basket, totally. basket or something picnic like that. Picnic in the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, what are you excited about? Are you starring in the play? No, <laughs> no. I'm behind the scenes, totally. I try to disappear. Uh, it's a great, incredible cast, uh, and the director, playwright, and designer have done a great job. That's so great. So we'll, there will be lights and cameras and um, all of that, the big, you're going to do it big, just like Shakespeare in the Park? Yeah, we give it all the big production elements mm -hmm. it needs. There's one really exciting production element that's a big surprise at the end mm -hmm. that goes along with the culture of the Grove that people are going to love. So I have to come see it, though. Sounds exciting. He's not giving us any details. We're trying to get some <laughs> details out of him, but he's not giving us anything. That means that you guys have to go and see it, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Rick, for being here today. We'll be right back with more STL TV Live. But first, take a look at today's featured hot job brought to you by Slate and Missouri Workforce Development.